Hello, and welcome to Eastern Roman history. Having agitated for a return, escaped from Cherson to the Khazar Khagan after the governor conspired to arrest him, married a Khazar princess baptized Theodora, and fleeing from the Khagan, crossed the sea, persuaded Khan Turvel to aid him, and successfully retook the capital and thereby his throne, Justinian II's comeback from disgrace is one of daring, tenacity, and admiration. Ruling from 705 to 711, his first action as emperor was to bring his wife Theodora and his son Tiberius back from Caesarea. On his return, he blinded and exiled the patriarch Callinicus and replaced him with Cyrus. He executed Tiberius III and Leontius, as well as all of Tiberius' supporters. However, he did show clemency to Tiberius Absimar's son, who he exiled to church life. Some of these punishments were justified. Tiberius and Leontius had both been usurpers and were thus executed, blinding the patriarch and eliminating all of Tiberius's loyal officers and officials was less justified. In 707, Messalima invaded Cappadocia and sacked Tyana. Justinian sent two strategoi to deal with Messalima, but they were resoundingly defeated. In 708, Justinian himself led a force against the Bulgars, his former allies, and was defeated. Meanwhile, Messalima attacked and took a number of forts in the Anatolian interior defeated the Roman relief force near Amorium, and then raided Isauria, the mountainous region above Cilicia. In 709, there was serious unrest in Ravenna, the capital of Byzantine Italy. In 710, the Roman garrison in Cherson in the Crimea rebelled against Justinian, even gaining aid from the Khazars. Justinian responded by sending a fleet led by Stephen the Patrician to crush the rebellion, which he did. Stephen executed some Chersonites, but as he was sailing back to Constantinople, his fleet was wrecked in a storm. Cherson then again rebelled, and was again aided by the Khazars. Meanwhile, Justinian had to deal with unrest in Rome. To help rectify animosity in the West, Justinian summoned Pope Constantine to Constantinople. In a rare instance of compromise, in 711, Justinian agreed with Constantine that he did not have to follow any decision of the Quinisex Council of 692 that the papacy found objectionable. Lazica, which had been regained by Tiberius III, having been lost under Leontius, was yet again lost to the Arabs when the princes of Lazica and Abascia defected to the Caliph. Justinian sent a small expedition, led by Leo the Isaurian, the future emperor, to Lazica, which succeeded in re-establishing Roman suzerainty in Abascia. The same year, Justinian sent the Logothete George in an embassy to Cherson to negotiate with the rebels. George, however, was killed by the Chersonites, who proclaimed an Armenian official exiled by Tiberius III as emperor. Bardanes, renamed Philippicus, defeated the expedition led by Morus the Patrician to Cherson. Morus then joined Philippicus. Philippicus then set sail for Constantinople. Meanwhile, Justinian had managed to gain a peace with Turvel and had been lent 3,000 Bulgars. With these allies and the Opsikion and Thraxikion armies, Justinian made his headquarters at Sinope to react to any breach in the defences as the Arabs were relentlessly striking at the Roman frontier in Anatolia, Cilicia, Armenia and Lazica. Instead, Justinian raced back to Constantinople, having heard that Morus had been defeated and Philippicus was sailing to Constantinople. Despite his best efforts, Justinian reached Chalcedon just as Philippicus sailed into Constantinople. The usurper murdered Justinian's boy Tiberius and executed Justinian's chief officials. With Constantinople secure, Philippicus marched on Chalcedon. Philippicus promised to let Justinian's men have amnesty if they deserted Justinian, which they soon did. Justinian was captured and beheaded. His head was displayed at Ravenna and Rome to prove he was dead. Warren Treadgold says of the second reign of Justinian II, and thus the close of the Heraclean dynasty, 
Warren Treadgold, A History of the Byzantine State and Society, page 342. Justinian's second fall was due not so much to his excesses, which during his second reign were not great, as to the uncertainties caused by the three revolutions before it. The fourth revolution made matters even worse, destroying whatever remained of dynastic legitimacy. Philippicus evidently tried to justify himself by circulating an account of the expeditions to Cherson that exaggerated Justinian's cruelty and folly. But Philippicus had outdone Justinian in savagery by killing not only his predecessor's advisers, but also his son besides. With the death of Justinian II, thus closed the Heraclean dynasty which had lasted for most of the 7th century. I have been your host, Daniel Maynard, and this has been Eastern Roman History.